I want to talk about one thing today, that setters attacking. Some teams, setters are setters, that's all they do. Some teams have the luxury of having a setter that is athletic and can attack. What we're going to show you today is the situation that we have where we have a setter that has that athleticism that enables them to be part of our offence. We are going to look at some of the key things to being an effective attacker. Getting your feet to the ball, being able to jump set, and then from that point on, what type of attack they will use. So we're going to demonstrate the first thing with Dana is just a regular setter attack to the middle of the court on the other side. So you'll see here, the thing that we really encourage with Dana is she's, one, she's jumping. You've got to jump when you're a setter to make the middle blocker respect you. The second thing is, you'll notice when she jumps, she has both hands up as though she's going to set the ball. And from that point on, it's a very quick action, very strong use of the wrist, and she'll get that ball down from a good height to the middle of the court. Part of attacking is making the decision on which ball to set and which ball to attack. And what we do is encourage our setters to set the tough balls, the ones that the blockers on the other side think they're going to attack, and then to attack the ball that the blocker on the other side thinks they're going to set. We're going to move on now to a different type of attack. Dana demonstrated earlier attacking to the middle part of the court. A lot of teams do that, therefore they set their defences up to counter that. Some of the other areas that the setter can attack to are behind them and to the deep corner. So you can see from all three of those attacks, it's the same deal with Dana in regards to getting her feet to the ball, jumping, looking like she's going to set the ball, and then using her right hand, she just throws it over into the left front corner. The last thing we're going to look at is something that's just a little bit more random. Uh, most teams, when they start in their base or primary defensive position, will start with their left and right back players well up. So for the setter, the deep corners in zone one and zone five are often available. So uh, at a pinch, we can also throw the ball deep into those corners as a way of the setter attacking. So the key element of a setter is still being able to set the hitters a good hittable ball. Number one priority by far. We're lucky enough to have an athletic setter, and if your team is lucky enough to have an athletic setter, that added element to your offense can make it just a little bit more difficult for the other team to know exactly what's going on.